Hello everybody, today I would like to talk about some of the tools found within Rhino that might be of use for uh, mechanical or product part design. Okay, as you may know, um, Rhino is a very popular program amongst uh, industries such as industrial design, architecture, interior design and shipbuilding. However, in the area of uh, product part design, for mechanical manufacturing it is uh, not so popular i guess this is because uh, this area of work has been dominated by uh, very powerful programs such as uh, solidworks creo katia and so on and so forth however um, rhino is not exactly uh, useless in these areas there are certain tools within Rhino itself that can be uh, of use to do this area of work. Okay, so uh, in this video, I would like to explore some of them. Okay, let's start. Let me hide this stuff. <clears throat> okay, one well, of the common uh, mechanical design uh, tool that I want to uh, talk about is the shell. Okay. Okay, the shell command is actually a very uh, common tool among mechanical parametric uh, softwares. So basically what it does is that uh, it will sort of like create a thin wall object out of a solid object. Okay, so uh, let's do a demo. So I click on the shell and next thing I want to do is might be, might, uh, want to specify a thickness. Okay, so i uh, leave the thickness as 1.24 and then you ask you for faces to remove so these are the faces i want to remove okay I press enter okay shell result is not solid not to worry we can uh fix this okay but as you can see um basically the shell does is that uh it create a, a thin wall object okay out of uh the the options that you are given it okay so um now i want to show you how how to fix this uh problem of this uh object not being solid okay basically what i can do is you go to analyze h2 show h and then not show the all h but show the naked h okay the naked h is where there are gaps between the surfaces so in this case here uh, these two surfaces are are not fully joined with with this main body so what we're going to do is uh, we want to uh, remove them and create recreate them okay so uh, the easiest way to remove this is to use the extract surface command so I do a right mouse click over this icon select this enter and delete this okay I'll do the same for the other side okay okay extract this enter then I will delete it away okay next I will use uh, one of the surface command to recreate this surface okay I reckon <coughs> the easiest way to do it is to use a surface or network curve okay so I'm going to select the edges and simply set all to tangency click okay and do the same for the other side So um, let's join back these two surfaces onto the main body to see whether we will eventually uh, get a solid object. So, so click uh, join, select this, this, and this. Okay. Press enter. Okay. Let's uh, analyze to see whether it's a solid or not. Go to analyze, mass property, volume. Okay, great. We have a volume over here. That means that this is a solid. Okay. So uh, I have uh, demonstrated the shell command. Okay, the next command I want to demonstrate is the rip command. Okay. Assuming that I want to create like some kind of a rip in this uh, area to, to do some kind of uh, structural support or for other uh, purposes, um, 
we can use this command called the rip command okay so um let me do a demonstration so as you can see that uh, these these two curves that i created they are like extending out of this body so first thing i need to do is to actually uh remove away this area okay that is uh out of the the body to do that we can easily uh just use the split command select object to split this and this enter cutting object your main body okay so we can select these uh unnecessary areas okay and remove them okay over here i think we can remove this as well okay so these these areas that we have are within the boundary of the main body okay so now we can uh, execute the the rip command okay so let me do a demonstration the rip command can be found under solids creation is actually quite uh, obscure uh, the hidden okay it's under the extrude solid toolbar set okay is actually this icon here okay so uh you can click the rip okay so as you can see it even allows you to set the draft angle okay let me uh just show you okay you, to set a draft angle you have to set the mode uh toggle it to tapered and set the draft angle okay if you set it to a straight it will just be a simple uh extrusion okay so let's say uh, let, let's make it a little bit more realistic by giving it a draft angle so yeah i think i set the draft angle to five okay enter so the distance will be the thickness of the the rib so let's say to uh, point, point 0.8 okay so you ask you uh, select a planner curve to rip so okay i want to select this and this okay enter then you ask you for a boundary so the boundary is actually the main board body okay so we we'll click on this and wait for rhino to do its magic okay as you can see the ribs has been created and what's what's uh, so beautiful about this is that the ribs actually do not go beyond the boundary okay it doesn't go go to the back portion here Additionally, is actually uh, also connected to the main body as a single piece of solid. Okay, yeah. So uh, these are two of the commands that might be useful for uh, product part design. Okay, and there are other tools as well, such as uh, boss and maybe slab might be useful. But uh, I'm not going to dwell into them. Okay, so. Um, I think uh, that's all for the video. I uh, hope that it has been useful to you. Okay, see you around. Bye.